start a new era of pro football. It's the premiere of the Alliance on CBS as the Orlando Apollos host the Atlanta Legends at Spectrum Stadium here in Orlando, Florida. A lot of the NFL rules will carry over to the Alliance, but this is one difference. There are no kickoffs, and so the ball is spotted at the 25-yard line to start the game also. No extra points. You have to go for two. Since there's no kickoffs, there's an onside conversion, which is a fourth and 12 from your own 28-yard line if it comes after a touchdown. And there are some defensive limitations. Only a five-man rush is allowed for the most part. A Chargers lose their kicker to start the season but let go after four games. This one is on target and good. And those are the first points in Alliance history. A 38-yard field goal by Young Way Koo. 90 pounds. TJ Barnes is listed at 380. That's 380. And Akeem Hunt, though, might not be big, but he's got some speed, and he picks up a first down, a gain of 11. A full over the Great point. First and 10, Gilbert. Plenty of time. And completes it. Another first down for Orlando. Jalen Marshall down the sideline. And they he, say he stepped out. Yeah, he stepped out. I think he did. Tried the tightrope down the sideline. Big play nonetheless for the Apollos. The split he wants. It's got to be a pass, but he wants, right? Here's the throw. Gilbert end zone. I told you. Green is up. Empty back to it. Sims off his back foot. Picked off. Intercepted by Terrence Garvin. Intercepted. Green 10. Set up. Second and 10. The crossing batter complete to Charles Johnson. With room to run. And Johnson inside the 10 yard line. Remember last time the pick that should have been called on the play, it was improper technique. This is how you do it the right way. You come over and then you get out of the way. This time you do it perfect. Screen and then get out of the way so you don't get called. That's how you run the crossing route and make the play and not allow the referee to call and throw the flag on. The Apollos at the one yard line. Davion Smith is the running back. Green 10, green 10. Set up. There's the run left. Smith into the end zone. Touchdown. No, and now the two point conversion. Gilbert has time, and a wide open Matt Weezer is complete. The Buffalo product has the two-point conversion, and Orlando. Second punt for Nizalek. With Bracey Williams, the deep man for Orlando. Oh, he it. Ball is free, and the legends recover. It's Dwayne Hollis, son. Whose kick is good. Second field goal of the half. A draw them off, aren't they? Oh, wow. Wow, this is gutsy. Sims, and it's incomplete. Yeah, so now you're going to give the, yeah, you're going to give Orlando now a clear chance for a field goal. Esmond Lawrence, first and goal from the five. A 36-yard penalty. And it's a handoff to a team on a reverse. Marshall throwing it back. People do in the winter, they go to Florida, right? <laughs> the Snowbird special. <laughs> well, uh, the head coach, this one's on him. I, I, now, listen, they got to drop pass. I give it. But when you throw the ball, that can happen. And we're going to call it. Andrew Catalan got it right. We're going to reframe this the Snowbird special right there. <laughs> and, and Steve Spurrier said that while he was out of coaching, He's now taking a timeout to get set for this two-point play. Green 10, green 10. Gilbert, quick pass. Marshall right through his hands. 
25. He's got a little more to go, he says. Sims hands it off to Justin Thomas. He's got some speed. And Thomas with a first down. First from the Atlanta 36. Green 10, green 10. Set up. Oh, wide open on the crossing pattern. It's Hyman. And Hyman with a big play for the Apollos. The legend's defense at time blitz. They brought five guys. That mean they played man-to-man -man behind. The blitz was picked up. Good job up front taking on the blitzing linebacker. You free up one of those short, short crossing routes. Kick on the way, and it is good. With 3.22 to go in the third quarter, now we've got a three-score game. 25 to 6 in favor of Orlando. Punt. This one bounces at the 40. High hop for Phillips at the 35. He dropped it. Orlando has fallen on the football. Still a fight there. They have not officially ruled it Apollo's football. It appeared to be clear that Chris Thompson had it. Phillips kept fighting wow. on the play. Atlanta somehow comes away with it. Never give up on it. Even if it's the other guy's got it, just keep it. Because remember, a tie ball would go to the offense. So if you're in there digging, even if he's got it, just keep fighting for it. Phillips saves a turnover because you're right. I thought he had it. Bad. Oh, that's a bad mistake. You talk about looking away. And you're right, Andrew. I thought for sure that this was going to be a turnover. He was communicating with, she was communicating with John O'Neill. After further review, the ruling on the field of the kicking team recovering the ball stands. Big turn! Set up! Gary, you hear me? Oh. Yeah, go ahead, Melanie. As Gilbert's going to throw a touchdown to Johnson. Wow. Ray <laughs> didn't stop that one. How about that? The Ernest Johnson, a 33-yard touchdown. Into the wind, into the rain, but when you got a guy wide open like that, let it go. So, Melanie, I, I guess the rain doesn't really affect Orlando here. <laughs> not too much, guys. I'll be honest. It's really just kind of a, a blowing mist right now. It's not that heavy, so it shouldn't be much of a factor. And it wasn't. It was one of those little hitches and go to the outside. They've been running that crossing route. This time he set it up and then just went long on the play. Put your running back out there. That's always a tough match for coordinator for the Packers. Early 2005-06. There's that screen pass again. And it's Whoa. picked off. Carvin down the sideline. Will it be a pick six? You betcha. Touchdown, Orlando. A 51-yard return for number 51, Terrence Garvin. We said earlier, I would not call another screen. They called one too many. Screen pass, well defended, just a little wide. It bounces up right to Garvin. Sims is the only one that had a chance, and Garvin's a little too athletic for anybody. How about the night for Garvin? Ten tackles, two interceptions, a touchdown, and a tackle for a loss. And we saw him at practice Thursday, yes, he and he really stood out as the playmaker of this Orlando defense. Lando and Austin Appleby. And off the Akeem Hunt, and he's got the first down and more. There goes Hunt. And taken out of bounds. By Ed Reynolds Jr., but not before Hunt gains 31. Well, I tell you, the offense of Orlando is kind of just tired out, this uh, Atlanta defense right now. They're looking at the score, they're looking at the clock, and they're like, uh, get us out of here. Because they, right now, they can't get anything, they can't stop anything. And Appleby comes into the game, and, you know, as Andrew told you, started out his career at Purdue. We saw him finish it up at Florida. Steve Rowe is going to give a Florida guy a chance. <laughs> and 40 on the board for the Apollos. Murray fires, and it's picked off. Did he get that cleanly, Marquez White? Now they're saying no, it bounced first. 
With 23 seconds to go, Marquez White not happy as we take another look. Did he get it? The ruling on the field of an incomplete pass stands. Third down. To work. You know, one football game, it's not like college ball. You lose a game, you're almost out of it. College ball, you only get, you know, two teams from the East make the playoffs. If you're Atlanta, you go back to work and say, all right, we got to get better and fast. And then as the rain comes pouring down, Orlando celebrates an opening night victory. 40-6 to over Atlanta.